What's up everyone, it's me, Bagrush, and today I'm going to show you a gaming PC build for $1,000. This is going to be a great build that will let you max out just about every game you throw at it, including recently released games like Battlefield 4, Batman Arkham Origins, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag, as well as some other games like Crisis 3, Bioshock Infinite, and it can even be used for some video editing. These games should be playable with no problem at 1080p, so without further ado, let's get started with the build. For the processor, I chose the Intel Core i5-4670K. This is a quad-core processor clocked at 3.4GHz, and since it's part of the K-series, it means it can be overclocked. Shouldn't have any problems bumping it up to 4GB. The i5-4670K will run you about $240. Should you want to overclock, or if you just want a better CPU cooler than the stock Intel cooler, I recommend getting the Cooler Master Hypo 212 Evo. If you plan on overclocking at all, never use the stock cooler, as it can lead to extreme heat in your CPU and can damage your build. So using an aftermarket cooler will help you run your PC cooler and stable. If you don't plan on overclocking and you want your build to be a bit cheaper, you don't have to add this into your final purchase. The Hyper 212 Evo runs at about $40. For the motherboard, I chose the MSI Z87G45. This is a great motherboard for the build and it support overclocking, SATA 3 support, which is great for an SSD, and it has four USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, and overall it's just a solid motherboard for about $150. For a graphics card, I chose the 3GB Gigabyte Radeon R9 280X. With AMD's recent release of the R9 series, I thought it was a good addition for a $300 graphics card. Based on some benchmarks, a baseline R9 280X, which isn't overclocked, should yield about 70 frames per second on Ultra at 1080p, playing Battlefield this card is excellent for this build. Memory is rather simple, so I went with two 4GB6 of G-Skill Ripjaws X-Series DDR3 RAM. It's rated at 1600MHz, which is plenty for all your games and some multitasking. You can get two 4GB6 for around $70. For a hard drive, I'm going with a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. A terabyte is plenty of space for your games, movies, music, pictures, and it should be a great fit for all your storage needs. You can choose to go with the Caviar Black if you want a bit faster performance for an extra $20. Keep in mind that the difference is not that big between the two. They both have a terabyte of storage, but the Caviar Black is optimized for performance at the expense of power consumption and a bit more noise, while the Caviar Blue is the basic hard drive. It's your build, so do whatever you want with it. The Caviar Blue comes at about $60. The SSD is a great addition to any build, as it can boot up your OS quicker and can store a few things that you want to run faster. I recommend using a 120GB Kingston HyperX 3K drive. It offers great performance for a 120GB SSD and it comes in at about $90. The power supply is the most important part of any of my builds because without power all that stuff is a big pile of shiny metal. Remember to never be cheap with the power supply as it runs everything so make sure you pick quality over a sell price. My recommendation is the Corsair CX 500 watt power supply. It's an 80 plus bronze certified power supply which means you get high quality power and you get to lower the power bill. You can get this for about $50. The optical drive in this PC is really irrelevant unless you want a Blu-ray drive. Mostly unless you use CDs, the only thing you're going to be using it for is to install the OS. I just got the cheap reliable reader and burner which is a light on. It will run you about $17. It's simple and basic drive, but if you want to pay a bit more for a Blu-ray drive, I'll leave a link for you in the description. Finally is the case. Once again, this is where personal opinion or general cheapness comes in. The case can either be what you show off to everyone, or you can just put it under your desk and forget about it. Keep this build moderately cheaper and have some extras out with the NZXT Tempest 410. This case is a great quality case with a simple style and it holds everything together with good airflow. It has a few extras such as three front USB 2 ports and a front USB 3 port, space for a water cooler, and enough room to fit five extra fans along with the two fans that the case comes with. It's overall a great case and you can get it for about $60. There you go guys, a great $1,000 build that should last for a while in terms of specs and it should run everything you throw at it with great settings. Now the price of these do change often, so I'll be leaving a link in the description for PCPortPicker.com, a website where you can make your build online and see the lowest prices for the components that you need. Since it's November and Christmas is right around the corner, I'll be making another video for when the major deals come out for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. That's it guys, so if you like my videos and you want to see more of them, click on the like button. If you want to see my $600 PC build for November, click here. If you enjoy my videos, click here to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and shows me that you want to see more of my builds. I'll see you guys in the next video.